You're driving at night and looking for somewhere to park. When may you park on the right hand side of the road? 1. When you have your side lights on. 2. When you're in a one way street. 3. When you're more than 10 meters, 32 feet, from a junction. 4. When you're under a lamppost. The answer is 2. When you're in a one way street, who should obey diamond shaped traffic signs? 1. Bus drivers, 2. Lorry drivers, 3. Taxi drivers, 4. Tram drivers. The answer is 4. Tram drivers. How much can stopping distances increase in icy conditions? 1. 5 times, 2. 10 times, 3. 3 times, 4. 2 times. The answer is 2. 10 times. What hazard should you be especially aware of if you're turning left into a side road? 1. One way street. 2. Parked vehicles. 3. Pedestrians. 4. Traffic congestion. The answer is 3. Pedestrians. How will a school crossing patrol signal you to stop? 1. By displaying a stop sign. 2. By displaying a red light. 3. By giving you an arm signal. 4. By pointing to children waiting to cross. The answer is 1. By displaying a stop sign. You're traveling in very heavy rain. How is this likely to affect your overall stopping distance? 1. It will be doubled. 2. It will be halved. 3. It will be no different. 4. It will be 10 times greater. The answer is 1. It will be doubled. What's the meaning of this sign? 1. National speed limit. 2. No entry. 3. School crossing patrol. 4. Waiting restrictions. The answer is 4. Waiting restrictions. You're approaching a busy junction. What should you do when, at the last moment, you realize you're in the wrong lane? 1. Continue in that lane. 2. Force your way into the lane you need. 3. Stop until the area has cleared. 4. Use arm signals to help you change lane. The answer is 1. Continue in that lane. What does this sign mean? 1. 20 cars only, parking zone. 2. Maximum speed limit with traffic calming. 3. Minimum speed limit with traffic calming. 4. Only 20 cars allowed at any one time. The answer is 2. Maximum speed limit with traffic calming. What does this sign mean? 1. Cattle grid ahead. 2. Gated road ahead. 3. Level crossing with gate or barrier. 4. Level crossing without gate or barrier. The answer is 3. Level crossing with gate or barrier. What does this sign mean? 1. Amber signal out of order. 2. New traffic lights ahead. 3. Temporary traffic lights ahead. 4. Traffic lights out of order. The answer is 4. Traffic lights out of order. What does this line across the road at the entrance to a roundabout mean? 1. Give way to traffic from the right. 2. Stop at the line. 3. Traffic from the left has right of way. 4. You have right of way. The answer is 1. Give way to traffic from the right. What should you do when you're approaching traffic lights that have been green for some time? 1. Accelerate hard. 2. Be ready to stop. 3. Brake hard. 4. Maintain your speed.
The answer is 2. Be ready to stop. You're traveling behind a moped. What should you do if you want to turn left a short distance ahead? 1. Overtake the moped before the junction. 2. Pull alongside the moped and stay level until just before the junction. 3. Sound your horn as a warning and pull in front of the moped. 4. Stay behind until the moped has passed the junction. The answer is 4. Stay behind until the moped has passed the junction. What should you do if the red lights start flashing as you approach a level crossing? 1. Go over it carefully. 2. Go over it quickly. 3. Stop before the barrier. 4. Switch on your hazard warning lights. The answer is 3. Stop before the barrier. You're on a motorway. What should you do if there's a red cross showing on the signs above your lane only? 1. Continue in that lane and look for further information. 2. Don't continue in that lane. 3. Pull onto the hard shoulder. 4. Stop and wait for an instruction to proceed. The answer is 2. Don't continue in that lane. You're traveling on a road that has road humps. What should you do when the driver in front is traveling more slowly than you? 1. Flash your headlights. 2. Overtake as soon as you can. 3. Slow down and stay behind. 4. Sound your horn. The answer is 3. Slow down and stay behind. What should you do as you approach this overhead bridge? 1. Be prepared to give way to large vehicles in the middle of the road. 2. Find another route. This one is only for high vehicles. 3. Move across to the right-hand side before going through. 4. Move out to the center of the road before going through. The answer is 1. Be prepared to give way to large vehicles in the middle of the road. You need to top up your battery with distilled water. What level should you fill it to? 1. Halfway up the battery. 2. Just above the cell plates. 3. Just below the cell plates. 4. The top of the battery. The answer is 2. Just above the cell plates. How should you drive in areas with traffic calming measures? 1. At a reduced speed. 2. At the speed limit. 3. In the center of the road. 4. With headlights on dip beam. The answer is 1. At a reduced speed. Why should you slow down as you approach this hazard? 1. Because it's hard to see to the right. 2. Because of animals crossing. 3. Because of the level crossing. 4. Because of the car park. The answer is 3. Because of the level crossing. What does it mean if you see this signal on the motorway? 1. All vehicles use the hard shoulder. 2. Leave the motorway at the next exit. 3. Sharp bend to the left ahead. 4. Stop. All lanes ahead closed. The answer is 2. Leave the motorway at the next exit. What does this sign mean? 1. Two-way traffic crosses a one-way road. 2. Two-way traffic crosses a two-way road. 3. Two-way traffic over a bridge. 4. Two-way traffic straight ahead. The answer is 1. Two-way traffic crosses a one-way road. Who's legally responsible for ensuring that a vehicle registration certificate, V5C, is updated? 1. The licensing authority. 2. The registered vehicle keeper. 3. The vehicle manufacturer. 4. Your insurance company. The answer is 2. The registered vehicle keeper. What should you do when you're passing loose sheep on the road? 1. 
Briefly sound your horn, 2. Go very slowly, 3. Herd them to the side of the road, 4. Pass quickly but quietly. The answer is 2. Go very slowly. What could you do to help injured people at an incident? 1. Give them a warm drink. 2. Give them something to eat. 3. Keep them on the move by walking them around. 4. Keep them warm and comfortable. The answer is 4. Keep them warm and comfortable. You arrive at an incident. A pedestrian is bleeding heavily from a leg wound. The leg isn't broken and there's nothing in the wound. How could you help? 1. Apply firm pressure over the wound. 2. Dab the wound to stop the bleeding. 3. Give them a warm drink. 4. Keep the casualty's legs flat on the ground. The answer is 1. Apply firm pressure over the wound. What will help you to move off on a snowy surface? 1. Using a high engine speed. 2. Using a higher gear than normal. 3. Using the car's lowest gear. 4. Using the parking brake and footbrake together. The answer is 2. Using a higher gear than normal. You're driving in a build-up area that has traffic calming measures. What should you do when you approach a road hump? 1. Check your mirror and slow down. 2. Move across to the left-hand side of the road. 3. Stop and check both pavements. 4. Wait for any pedestrians to cross. The answer is 1. Check your mirror and slow down. What should you do if a doctor prescribes drugs that are likely to affect your driving? 1. Avoid driving on motorways. 2. Get someone else to drive. 3. Never drive at more than 30 miles per hour. 4. Only drive if someone is with you. The answer is 2. Get someone else to drive. You've stopped at a pelican crossing. What should you do if a disabled person is crossing slowly in front of you and the lights change to green? 1. Drive in front of them. 2. Edge forward slowly. 3. Sound your horn. 4. Wait for them to finish crossing. The answer is 4. Wait for them to finish crossing. It's very windy. What should you do if you're behind a motorcyclist who's overtaking a high-sided vehicle? 1. Keep close to the motorcyclist. 2. Keep well back. 3. Overtake the motorcyclist immediately. 4. Stay level with the motorcyclist. The answer is 2. Keep well back. You're driving on the motorway in windy conditions. What should you do as you overtake a high-sided vehicle? 1. Be wary of a sudden gust. 2. Drive alongside very closely. 3. Expect normal conditions. 4. Increase your speed. The answer is 1. Be wary of a sudden gust. You want to park and you see this sign. What should you do on the days and times shown? 1. Park in a bay and not pay. 2. Park in a bay and pay. 3. Park on yellow lines and not pay. 4. Park on yellow lines and pay. The answer is 2. Park in a bay and pay. How far are you allowed to reverse? 1. As far as it takes to reverse around a corner. 2. No further than is necessary. 3. No more than a car's length. 4. The length of a residential street. The answer is 2. No further than is necessary. What would suggest you're driving on an icy road? 1. There's less engine noise. 2. There's less transmission noise. 3. There's less tire noise. 4. There's less wind noise.
The answer is 3. There's less tire noise. You've been involved in an argument that's made you feel angry. What should you do before starting your journey? 1. Calm down. 2. Have an alcoholic drink. 3. Open a window. 4. Turn on your radio. The answer is 1. Calm down. What legal requirement must be met by a newly qualified driver? 1. They must be accompanied on their first motorway journey. 2. They must display green L plates. 3. They must have a new photograph taken for their full license. 4. They must have valid motor insurance. The answer is 4. They must have valid motor insurance. Where's the safest place to park your vehicle at night? 1. In a garage. 2. In a quiet car park. 3. Near a red route. 4. On a busy road. The answer is 1. In a garage. You service your own vehicle. How should you dispose of the old engine oil? 1. Pour it down a drain. 2. Put it in your dustbin. 3. Take it to a local authority site. 4. Tip it into a hole in the ground. The answer is 3. Take it to a local authority site. What should you do before driving into a tunnel? 1. Close your sunroof. 2. Switch off your radio. 3. Switch on your windscreen wipers. 4. Take off your sunglasses. The answer is 4. Take off your sunglasses. What should you do to avoid fuel spillage? 1. Check that you've used a locking filler cap. 2. Check that your filler cap is securely fastened. 3. Check that your fuel gauge is working. 4. Check that your tank is only 3 quarters full. The answer is 2. Check that your filler cap is securely fastened on a vehicle. Where would you find a catalytic converter? 1. In the air filter. 2. In the fuel tank. 3. On the cooling system. 4. On the exhaust system. The answer is 4. On the exhaust system. You're driving towards this left-hand bend. What danger should you be anticipating? 1. A vehicle overtaking you. 2. Mud on the road. 3. Pedestrians walking towards you. 4. The road getting narrower. The answer is 3. Pedestrians walking towards you. What safety device must be fitted to a trailer braking system? 1. Breakaway cable. 2. Corner steadies. 3. Jockey wheel. 4. Stabilizer. The answer is 1. Breakaway cable. What must you do if poor health affects your driving? 1. Always drive accompanied. 2. Avoid using motorways. 3. Inform the licensing authority. 4. Inform your local police. The answer is 3. Inform the licensing authority. How should a load be carried on your roof rack? 1. Covered with plastic sheeting. 2. Loaded towards the rear of the vehicle. 3. Securely fastened with suitable restraints. 4. Visible in your exterior mirror. The answer is 3. Securely fastened with suitable restraints. You're driving on a motorway at night. Which lights should you have on if there are other vehicles just ahead of you? 1. Front fog lights. 2. Main beam headlights. 3. Side lights only. 4. Dipped headlights. The answer is 4. Dipped headlights. Which is the most vulnerable road user? Select one answer. 1. 
car driver, 2, tractor driver, 3, lorry driver, 4, motorcyclist. The answer is 4, motorcyclist. What should you do if a doctor prescribes drugs that are likely to affect your driving? 1. Avoid driving on motorways. 2. Get someone else to drive. 3. Never drive at more than 30 miles per hour. 4. Only drive if someone is with you. The answer is 2. Get someone else to drive.